So while we're waiting, I just wanted to get a sense uh, of the nonprofits who are here. Can you shout out which nonprofits you're with? YTH. YTH, great. Who else? Benetech. Benetech. Who else? Tenderloin who? Tessie. Tenderloin Tessies. Fem Resources, Advancing Women's Careers in Tech and Engineering. Advancing Women's tech, uh, uh, Careers in Tech and Engineering. India Partners. India Partners? Great. Bay Area Chick Tech, Empowering Women in Tech. Bay Area Chick Tech, awesome. Code for Pakistan. Code for Pakistan. Support for families of children with disabilities. Support for families with children with disabilities. What's that? Frack Tracker Alliance. Frack Tracker Alliance. You'll hear from Kyle shortly. The back. Say it louder. Central Community Partners. Central Community Partners. Great. Southern Poverty Law Center. Southern Poverty Law Center. The San Francisco Day Labor Program and Women's Collective. The San Francisco Day Labor and Women's Collective. Atlas Run for Others. Run for Others, what was the name of it? Atlas. Actus? Atlas, like the Atlas. Atlas, yeah. City Slicker Farms. City Slicker Farms, that sounds great. All right, all set, career hub, here we go. <coughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you, uh, Anna and Susan, for having me this morning. Thank you. Uh, I'm Amanda Gary. I'm with Pathways Consultants, and we are a consulting firm that specializes in working with uh, workforce development agencies to help them produce impactful results. Our clients tend to be um, schools, job training programs uh, that help low-income people get back to work and into living wage and employment. So we've been in practice about 11 years now. We also have a long history of direct service in that, in that area. Um, and our product is called Career Hub. We've been working on it for about two years now. So I'm not a developer. We've been bootstrapping this ourselves for the last two years. Um, so there's been this sort of enduring problem in our field of workforce development. We work with people, help them get a job, get job training, help uh, placed in a, in a job. And once they get that job, we don't ever hear from them again. They disappear. They don't want everyone to tell us you know, what, where they ended up. Um, our funders require that we track people for up to 18 months in most cases, and we cannot prove our impact. There's no way to find out where people are. So we came up with um, a solution for that. So our solution is Career Hub, and it's pretty simple. The idea is if you could send a text and an email as backup, but primarily text to people and say, hey, let me know, are you, how are you doing? Are you still working? Um, send me a picture of your pay stub, which is often something that's required, uh, depending on our funders, um, and we'll send you a gift card. We'll send you an instant digital gift card. Immediately. So incentivize it. So we developed Career Hub, and what it does is it sends text, email, and voice messages directly from a desktop computer, um, as well as gift cards. And you can manage groups and uh, pre-schedule messages. Um, texting is a, has a unique ability to penetrate people's personal lives. You can send reminders. These guys know you can send reminders to, uh, you know, a youth that is, needs to go to a job training program on 7 a.m. on a Monday morning and schedule it and say, hey, it's time to get up. Um, <laughs> yeah, they say they need it. We've done focus groups with youth and they definitely say, we need reminders and we need coaching and we need encouragement. So the other thing that we realized is you couldn't just send one text and say, hey, you know, John, are you still working? And John would say, who the heck is this? I don't know who you are, what is this? And they think it's not real. I'm gonna give you a gift card, yeah, right. So what we realized through all of our work, we've been piloting this for the last couple of years doing a couple of statewide demonstration grants um, projects with it, is that it needs to be surrounded by a whole bunch of other um, rapport building things. We realized you can do skill building and training via text. Uh, you can do coaching and moral support. You can send out um, reminders and announcements. And you can send it out to one person or a thousand people at once. So this is what the dashboard looks like. So if I'm a teacher, we work with adult schools, we work with case managers and nonprofits. This is what they would log into and see. They'd see a dashboard and it says how much money they have in their gift card amount, how many clients are in their database, how many messages they've gotten in or out. And see, from your desktop, they can send a quick text, email, voice message, or schedule the delivery in advance. 
Here's the scheduled delivery system. For future dates, you can schedule out reminders you know, a month in advance or even a sequenced curriculum. And the, the, here's the cool part is most apps that are like this out there, the user, the recipient of the, of the information has to download something in order to participate. This is just a 10-digit phone number. It's a local number. It's based on wherever that community-based organization is that we're working with. So it just comes in as a normal phone number. And these are the, the vendors we're working with, Starbucks, Staples, Target, Domino's, and Walmart. This is what it looks like. You could also send the messages from your phone. So if I'm a case manager and I'm on the run, I can send a quick message to a client. Congratulations, you've got your GED. Here's a $25 Target card. <laughs> We've also found that social service providers have been using it quite a bit to respond to emergencies for like housing, medicine, or not housing, but like uh, medicine or food, kinds of uh, emergent needs things people have. This is what the gift card looks like. It's on your phone. You can also get it as email and you can print it out. But for the most part, people have been just taking it directly to a vendor and there's no paper that's required. So some of the impact that we've found, we've been working on a two-year demonstration grant with uh, the California Workforce Development Board to see, well, where did, there's a sweet spot with this. We've definitely found that um, this increased response rates and engagement, um, we've gotten uh, in terms of requests for data for information from people, hey, are you working? Did you get your GED? Did you finish that job training program? Went from typically about 12% up to about 50% response rate. So people really like to use this, this way of communicating. And it increases attendance and participation rates um, uh, and completion rates. We found that with the reminders, people have been attending from about 8% perfect attendance to say like a three week job training program to about 35% perfect attendance and definitely motivates people. So our next steps, we're looking for, um, by the way, the website is careerhubus.com if you want to find us. I brought some flyers and postcards there in the back as well. And we're looking for other beta users. We have nine sites here in San Francisco that are using it. We have um, a one month trial membership and we'll be offering um, use of Career Hub as, at a reduced rate. Uh, we're planning a firm launch in May, so that's what we're going for right now. Um, looking for other human service agencies, housing, health, other kind of creative ways that we can use it. Um, so if you're interested in talking to me about it, please let me know. Yeah? Related to that, if you had one action that you wanted people in this group to take with that, what would that be? Try the coupon code. Okay. <laughs> Talk to me. I'll give you the coupon code. I'm interested in all the ways that you could use it, because you can incentivize all sorts of different kinds of things. Other questions? Yeah? Why this person that? Um, mostly because the case manager or the teacher that's using it is at a desktop computer and historically they've been using their own phones and their own plans and there's no privacy. They're getting the messages at, at home, at night. So they're using a web-based application and then the recipient's just using their mobile phone for you know whatever. So that way they don't have to download an app. You know, if I'm a, a youth uh, who's getting the text messages. I didn't have to download anything or do anything in order to get the message from the case manager. Yeah? This is great. I am um, just thinking, and now that for chronic disease management, especially for diabetes, there's something that people have tried to do that's very similar to what you're doing there. And I, I was always thinking that wouldn't it be great if you could take um, the online engagement and bring it offline by saying if something Maybe you have a question that says, um, how are you doing this morning? And there are several indicators or flags that tell you that this person isn't doing well. And then maybe the next question would be, there are five people within your immediate area to experience what you've gone through. Would you be willing to get a call from them? Or would you like to go have coffee or something Well, that's like an that. interesting. Well, like right now, a case manager, a human could do that. Sure. Uh, but there's uh, one feature of it that's automated right now, which is the, hey, are you working? If the person responds yes, a text automatically goes out with a congratulations message, and that message can be customized by the user. And if the person responds with a no, there's a different message that comes out. So the same principle could work with any kind of other survey via text. Yeah, so let me know if you need a referral. I want to connect you to some other folks in your neighborhood. Yeah. I guess what I mean by peer-to-peer, -peer, there's always more power when someone who's experienced what you have gone through reaches out to you because it's really about having that kind of connection of language as opposed to having a Facebook and contact. Yeah. Well, the peer-to-peer -peer is hard because confidentiality is 
so people have to decide to do that. So the way this works is, if I'm the case manager, I can send out a thousand messages, but they don't see the messages. And that's the difference with a phone, too. Everybody sees each other's phone numbers. In this case, it's all separate. Yeah. Great. Thanks so much, and we'll be here afterwards. Yep. Thank you. That's great. Let's have a little uh, stretch moment. Why doesn't everybody get up and stretch out all those little aches and pains? Don't walk away unless you have to, please. Um, we've got a few more folks coming up who um, have some exciting and wonderful presentations for us. Okay, if everybody can sit back down again.